You know, while I'm sitting here waiting, I think this dual vlog thing went over really well. We had a lot of good responses from this. I think it, I think it went out pretty well. Isn't yeah, it? you know, it is what it is. Oh, there we go. I just really pissed off some car because I accidentally pulled out in front of him, but um, my my turn went a little wide there because I got on the gas and I was like, well, I know I can outrun him, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, when you pull out in front of someone, it's not like you can't fix it. Yeah, it's like, I I know I can go faster than you. I know I'm kind of a, a bit of a prick for having done what I just did, but you, you never had to slam on your brakes for it, so there's that. <laughs> I'm just going to pull over and turn my um, phone on silent because the guys in the Vic chat are fucking going mental today, non-stop talking. And every time my phone beeps, okay. you cut out, so hang on a sec. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be fucking annoying, I tell you. Yeah, I have to deal with the same thing quite often, so... I'm in two or three chats that are really big and it just, it's non-stop. All day long. Motor vlogger chats are the worst. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All three of them. They're bad. Just non-stop. I've gotten to the point where I just turned the do not disturb. Really? Why would you get over in front of me like that? I guess I deserved that for what I did earlier. Yeah, it's even worse for me because they don't start until about 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous. Another chat that I'm in is like that. We have somebody in Norway, England, Germany, and then three different parts of America. So it's like... at two in the morning I'm like who the fuck is all oh, right we got people over in Europe it's like daytime right now um, and then someone from the US takes about five hours to respond and then <laughs> exactly it's like okay well this conversation is the longest I've ever had happen I'm on talking to Mountain Moto from uh, I can't remember where he's from somewhere he's up north somewhere yeah 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 I think Canada oh is he I think he's from Canada. Okay, well, yeah, he's um, he's gonna send me some stickers, but each time we reply to each other, it's like a day in between. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Had him all <laughs> I know it takes so long to get a reply out of some people, and then add in the time zones like that. You're just like, man, this is this is really long. It's. I bought a new helmet, and my flies is fogging up like a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, that's the worst, dude. I took my chin curtain out because it was doing that to me. I'm like, I like how the chin curtain sounds, but I can't deal with it fogging up my glasses every morning when I'm trying to go to work and see and shit. So I'm like... You, when did you take that out? You've taken that out since we last chatted on here, haven't you? Yes, you can tell, can't you? Yeah, it's, more, it's definitely more windy. It's not terrible, but there's definitely more wind. Yeah. It's... uh. I mean, I usually ride with it in, but today I was like, nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> it was like super, super cold this morning. So I'm like, I know it's gonna fog up my glasses. I can't do this. Yeah, my, my all the helmets that I've ever had have always had um, the coating on the back of them, but I bought this Shelly and apparently Japanese helmets, you know that they're not allowed to put anything on the inside of the visor. What? Yeah, that's, that's some what they BS. Got, um, at the shop, they said they can't put anything on the inside of the visor because it, comp uh, it compromises the integrity of the visor and that's why most Japanese helmets will come oh. with locks. Jeep! There's a Jeep! <laughs> Wave at them. Yeah, but sometimes that can just make you look like a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, but again, 
the, that's the kind of guy or the kind of girl that I want because if I'm on a motorcycle and I'm trying to pick up chicks with the bike, I'm definitely not trying to use my good looks and charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair enough. The girls are the ones that are like asshole, but I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're not the kind of girl I was going for at this point in time. What I want right now is a bike slut. <laughs> <laughs> I want that bitch that's just like, you got a bike, I want you. <laughs> yep, and you get on the back wearing no clothes because that's what bike shots do. Uh, fucking booty shorts and a tank top. But how bad you would feel if you crashed when they were dressed like that? <laughs> <laughs> she got on the bike, man. <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend rides with me all the time, and I've literally never let her get on the bike without a jacket, helmet, gloves, and decent shoes. I did the same thing to both the girls that I've had on my bike. I'm like, you, I'm responsible for you. I can't do this. I, you have to have. Oh, that's a nice jack. That's an XF. We don't get a lot of nice cars here, do we? We really don't.